Now, if you could have a drink with anyone in the automotive field, living or deceased, who would it be? That was a tough one to think of. I, I, I thought Paul Newman. Oh, yeah. He's been you know, mentioned a couple of times since I just started asking that question. Yep, because – and I only – I thought of him because, number one, he's he's a cool guy and he's a car guy, right? Yeah. And he's an actor. I mean he's he had a great look to him. But I remember seeing that ad with him and the Beatle in the background. <laughs> oh, that's right. And yeah. uh, I said, you know what? I'm sure he drove that. I'm sure he like he he probably had a uh, you know an attachment to the Beetle to some degree. And uh, you know why not sit down with him and and have a drink? Well, that'd be pretty cool. I had Matt DeAndrea, who's a co-host of uh, Adam Carolla's Carcast podcast on the show, and he helped produce uh, was a producer of a great movie about Paul Newman. Uh, hopefully, you had a chance to see that, but about his racing career and so forth. So yes. uh, very very cool. Now, how about a book? Is there a book you've read that you think our listeners should read as well? You know, it's it's not so much of a car book, uh, but it's a book that I read that started me to get onto this business. And this is the book that I basically got me international, base, uh, really. Uh-huh. It's called The Silent Sales Machine by Jim Cockrum. And it's an internet marketing book. It's a book to, say, start your own business, uh, uh-huh. whether it's from home or brick and mortar or whatever. And uh, I still listen to this guy today. I mean, he still comes out with new updates and does podcasts and things. But that's the kind of book, like if you're interested in turning your hobby into a business or looking to start your own thing, that was a great book that I read. Um, the other book, what goes back to my film years, and it was called uh, Rebel Without a Crew by Robert Rodriguez, and he was a filmmaker that made a movie for $7,000 back in the uh, early 90s, and he he was a one-man crew. But I relate to that still today because uh, it, much of what you see with my business today was all me. I mean, I do all my marketing. I do all my newsletters. I do my, my, my photography. I do the restorations, nice. the communications, the social networking, the YouTube, all that stuff. I still do that, and I still feel like the rebel without the crew. So – they still works today, but you know, <laughs> so I got to get a crew now. So, <laughs> well, there's a point in time where, yeah, you'll start to show a benefit of hiring people to do the certain things. I always tell people pick the things that you like to do the least first and delegate those away. And in many cases, of course, in every case, find somebody who's better than you and then give yes. them the reins to do it. But uh, I understand. I I'm a one one legged paper hanger here at Cars yeah, as well, so I get <laughs> I get it all the way. Now uh, I'll remind our listeners you can find all these great resources that Chris has been so kind to share on his show notes page at carsyad.com slash Chris Vallone. Chris's last name is a V-A-L-L-O-N-E. And there's another great place on the Cars Yad website where these two great books that Chris has recommended and all the past 713 now guests have recommended. It's under the references tab called Guest Recommended Books. There's got to be close to a thousand books there. Awesome resources. I've set it up so it's quick, easy clicks to buy. It's a wonderful resource if you love to learn things through the uh, wonderful world of books so and audio of course so chris this last question can be a real doozy i call it the checkered flag if you could have only one very cool collector car in your garage but you can't have me buy you the ferrari gto and then sell it and buy a bunch of bugs okay <laughs> you got to keep this car you got to enjoy it i want you to drive it no trailer queens here at cars yeah but money is no object so don't worry about the cost what would that vehicle be and why uh it would probably be the volkswagen heb mueller that's a name I've not heard in a long time. Tell me yep. about that car. The Hebmuller was a, 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 it's a another coach built VW from 49 to 53. It was a two seat Roadster Beetle that they made for a very short time. And it had its own factory. And basically, it, it's such a rare car right now. I think maybe they sold 1500 or so or. Uh, something like that back then. And then the factory burnt down. And I think maybe there's only 50 in existence right now. Whoa. Um, it's one of those cars that are, you know, pushing the mid $250,000, $300,000 range. Okay. I've, I've seen them, you know, uh, go for. It's a wacky looking Beetle. I mean, it looks like the front hood is also in the rear. Yeah. Now I know what you're talking about. It's cartoon like, which kind of fits with your animation passion and so forth. Yeah. And it looks like. A bug that's been chopped in the middle and it's got two front ends, right? Pretty much. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's got a big, big rear, you know, big yeah. hood that covers the motor compartment. And yeah, it's a, it's a very rare car. I mean, you know, if I, you know, if I had enough money to throw around, I'd probably grab that car, but uh, maybe one of these days. I'd be <laughs> thrilled to buy you one of those cars. Absolutely. <laughs> if I remember those right, I can't even remember where I saw one, but the, uh, they, some of them had really cool dual tone paint where the side of the car was one color and the rest of the car was another color. I, 
I yeah. Think, I think one I saw was kind of a, a light yellow and black type uh, car with white walls and so forth. Correct. But, uh, yeah. yeah that's, a correct, that's a correct color scheme, too, that they would have had on those cars. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, just a fascinating looking car. But, I mean, I know if I would have ever taken that car to a local car show, they would say, wow, what did you do to this bug? Yeah. Did you hack it off? I mean, they don't know. <laughs> Most people do not know that car. Right. So that's the other nice little thing about it. But, uh, yeah, I, I would probably hold on to that. To me, that's like holy grail stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that's pretty darn cool. Very rare. And, of course, you're the first person that's asked for that car, so I love it when people pick cars that I've never been asked for before. <laughs> that's pretty darn cool. Well, Chris, you've taken us on an awesome ride today. I knew you would, being a fellow VW fan like I am. I want to thank you for sharing your automotive journey with the Car Seattle listeners. Could you offer us one parting piece of wisdom and guidance before you put on down the road in that <laughs> VW Heb Mueller? I'm sure that's got a really small horsepower <laughs> motor in it. Do what you love. Like I said before, passion is great and success comes in many forms. You know, you don't have to make a boatload of money to be successful. If you're happy with what you do, like I am, uh, I, I love what I do. I come into my shop and I see my toys in front of me and I make a comfortable ink, uh, living. That's it. I love it. Well, like I said before, you have found the secret sauce to life. Absolutely. And what's the best way for our listeners to learn more about you and follow you? Uh, the best place would be my website, classicvwbugs.com, uh, or you can go to my YouTube channel, which is also which is Chris Valone, and uh, of course my Facebook page, Classic VW Bugs. Uh, you can search for that, and you'll see. Very cool. Yeah, I would encourage listeners check out his uh, YouTube shows. I think they're great, and check out his website. It's really fun too. It has kind of a nostalgia feel about it as well. The way you've designed that thing, really, really nicely done. And listeners, again, you can find links to everything Chris has shared on his. Show notes page at carsyad.com. Just type Chris in the search bar, or better yet, Chris Valone in the search bar, and that page will pop right up. Chris, thanks for being so generous today with your time and expertise and for sharing your automotive journey with the Cars Yad listeners and me. Until we talk again, I'll see you down the road. Take care. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for joining us on today's ride here at Cars Yeah. Drive on over to CarsYeah.com to find show notes and inspiring automotive fun. Download your free copy of Filler Up, a fun book filled with gorgeous photographs of fuel filler fun, including quotes from more inspiring automotive enthusiasts. Download your copy today, and we'll see you next time on Cars Yeah. Oh, 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 oh.